Here's where the study gets a little tricky um, because it was a qualitative study. So the data collection was really based on interviews and school observations and visits, which obviously can lead to some subjectivity, but overall the data was picked apart and determined, um, common themes were determined, um, and that's kind of what we're going to be presenting to you. Um, there were some other concerns about how the people that were leading the program were also people doing the interview, so there could have been some bias there. But here was their research question. In what ways has the introduction of translanguaging pedagogy in schools with English-only programs shifted educational practices, language ideologies, and or language education policies, if at all? Now, I already kind of gave you the spoiler alert that there was a shift um, and all positive. So the way that this data was um, documented and that these patterns were able to be picked up on was through interviews. So there were 20, 22 interviews. Some happened um, at the beginning of the study and then in the middle, and then some even happened years later, some two to three uh, years later, and it was about two to three per school. Um, there were 38 school visits that were conducted um, and there were field notes for each of those observations, uh, but they weren't just observing instruction. They were also observing the professional development that was going on through staff meetings or team planning meetings. Um, and for each of the eight schools, there were about three to seven visits per school.